Okay, so these are the ones that always used to catch me off guard. Uh, not because it's the cotangent and inverse tangent, but it's because of the input. It was just an x. All right, so remember the, the setup for this is uh, we need to think of this part right here as an angle. So tangent of what angle will equal x? All right, that's what this statement right here means. The tangent of some angle equals this right here. And then eventually we're going to do the cotangent of that angle. So to build the right triangle for this, the thing to recall is that x is the same as x over 1. All right, that way you actually have two sides for your right triangle. All right, we'll have our right triangle. Again, we'll just call this theta. And we want tangent of theta to be x over 1. So tangent of theta is x over 1. There we go. And then we can solve for this side right here. Actually, we don't even need to, but I'll do it real quick. Yeah, because we want to know cotangent of this angle. But I'll solve for this just so you see, uh, see what it is. It would be the square root of this one squared plus that one squared. x squared plus 1. All right, so if you needed to know sine or cosine of this angle, now you could find it. But we want cotangent. Cotangent of this angle, uh, remember tangent is opposite over adjacent. So cotangent is the reciprocal. It would be adjacent over the opposite. 1 over x. And that would be it. Bam, that would be our answer.